Star Compass is, is amazingly an ingenious tool. Even though you would say that they don't know mathematics, when you do, when you do geometrically start to understand how this thing works, it, 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 it is is math. It's a mathematical kind of ingenious uh, of way of seeing the world. So say you imagine that you're looking at a star compass that's theoretical on a piece of paper, like your satellite looking down. It's still 360 degree circle divided in 32 so-called even houses, star houses, which comes out to 11 and a quarter degrees. North is Akao, and then south is Hema, and then east is Hikina, and then Komohana. So you, so you, you create the quadrants by those four star houses. And then it evenly places northeast, northwest, southwest, southeast. If you go from north to east in that quadrant, that is Ko'olau. Then if you go from east to south, that's going to be Malanai. And then south to west, that's going to be Kona. And then from west back to north, 360s, that's going to be Ho'olua. There's seven star houses with each quadrant. It'd be La, Aina, Noyo, Manu, Nalani, Naleo, and Haka. If you multiply that by the four, that's 28, plus the cardinal points. That's how you get the 32, Haka. You can take it from the northeast and fold it into the southeast. You can take it from the northeast, you can fold it into the northwest. In reality, when you're at sea, that star compass is your ocean horizon.